from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Ragnoni with the Indian Hill Marching Band. And I'm Easton Phillips. And hey Easton, you do know that baseball is until spring, right? <laughs> oh Hannah, it's a lifestyle. Hmm, fair points. Well, anyway, we've got a lot of news to cover today, so let's see what story is first up to bat. Get it? Bat like baseball? No? Okay. Newsweek has ranked Indian Hill High School as the number one school in Ohio and number 54 in the nation. Way to go, Braves. Let's aim even higher in 2017. The National College Fair will be at the Duke Energy Center Sunday, September 11th from 1 to 4 p.m. This is your opportunity to meet face-to-face -face with hundreds of col college reps. Please register online to avoid the lines and see your counselor with any questions. Well, you know, I was the captain of the JV baseball squad. We sure hit those dingers. That's great, Easton. But let's check in with some actual leaders, like the ones in student government. Hey, can you hit a home run in marching band? No. Just roll the clip. We're on the hunt for some studs of gov. Hi, my name is Shelly Miller and I'm the vice president of the freshman class. Why did you choose to be a part of student government? I chose to be part of student government because I wanted to give back to the school. I'm Noah Vigran and I'm vice president of the junior class. Noah, which politician is your inspiration and why? I'd probably have to go with John Kasich because he kind of looks like my grandpa. Elizabeth, in your opinion, who would you want to be the next president of the United States? Definitely Dr. Shelton. For sure, he's awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Auditions for the fall musical, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, are next week. And remember, you don't have to be a good speller to audition. Please visit the theater website or see Mrs. Arbor for more questions. If you're fond of America's favorite circular Italian dish, pizza, then don't forget to swing by the new pizzeria locale in Kenwood. Bring your student ID on August 27th and receive a free pizza. Attention seniors, the senior class panoramic picture is coming up September 1st, and don't forget to invite your special person to Special Persons Day September 16th. In case you missed it, Indian Hill competed in the 2016 Olympics. Let's check out this amazing team. Welcome to the Indian Hill Olympics. Okay, wait. Water bottle flipping. <laughs> I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family. By any means, your enemies, my enemies. Olympic. Netflixing. Anime racing. Indian Hill brought back the gold in water bottle flipping, Netflixing, and the coveted anime race. The new interim principal has been announced. Please welcome Mrs. Karen Baer to Indian Hill. She was previously the assistant principal at Sycamore High School and is ready to move on to, you know, the number one school in Ohio. We wish you the best of luck at Indian Hill. Indian Hill is going green. The recycling program is in full swing with the addition of the recycling and composting bins in the cafeteria. Please do your part and look out for other opportunities to get involved in the Go Green project. Thanks for tuning in, Braves. Be sure to subscribe to us. It'll let you know whenever we upload a video and it'll make us happy. Have an awesome weekend, Braves. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. How's first week of school going? Is it going awesome or still sad? Oh, it, it's still sad. Um, it's good, especially because it's not the first week of school anymore. It's like the third week of school for teachers. 
So I'm in the groove now. The first week's going really well. Uh, I've got a great feeling about this year, and I got I have no complaints. It's going great. Uh, you know, honeymoon phase, man. You know, everybody's good, but uh, I expect that'll change before too long, but we'll see.